Coming to the City of the Living God You haven't come to a place like Mount Sinai that can be seen and touched. There's no flaming fire or dark cloud or storm or trumpet sound. The people of Israel heard a voice speak, but they begged it to stop because they couldn't obey its commands. They were even told to kill any animal that touched the mountain. The sight was so frightening that Moses said he shook with fear. You have now come to Mount Zion and to the heavenly Jerusalem. This is the city of the living God where thousands and thousands of angels have come to celebrate. Here you will find all of God's dearest children whose names are written in heaven. And you will find God himself who judges everyone. Here also are the spirits of those good people who have been made perfect. And Jesus is here. He is the one who makes God's new agreement with us. And his sprinkled blood says much better things than the blood of Abel. Make sure you obey the one who speaks to you. The people didn't escape when they refused to obey the one who spoke to them at Mount Sinai. Do you think you can possibly escape when you refuse to obey the one who speaks to you from heaven? When God spoke the first time, his voice shook only the earth. This time, he has promised to shake the earth once again and heaven too. The words once again mean that these created things will someday be shaken and removed. Then what cannot be shaken will last. We should be grateful we were given a kingdom that can't be shaken. And in this kingdom, we please God by worshipping him and showing him great honour and respect. Our God is like a destructive fire.